what people are not looking at right now. Yeah, Drake. Drake can stop right now. And of course, people are going to look at him crazy, but he cemented, he cemented in hip hop history. Same as Kendrick, but now Kendrick got the pressure on him. Because what people not thinking about is, bro, the next album, all, this ain't, it ain't never been this many eyes on Kendrick ever, I don't believe. Nah, ever. This is the, you say press as far as he got to deliver? Yes. I think he will. Every no, I, I know he will. Yeah, yeah. I know he will, but that doesn't, that doesn't say there's no pressure. I know what you're saying. The public is expecting, they, they expecting damn and good Kim Massey on steroids. Like we heard the snippet, yes. not like us video. Yes. So people are like, ooh, if we get this? No, that record, I can't wait for that record. Ooh, if we get this Kendrick for 12, 13 something? Man. Uh, remember I told you, we, we was uh, at when, not when uh, Like That came out, he was on the feature. I think I told, I think I told one of y'all this. I said, man, the last thing we unlocked from Kendrick was club version Kendrick. Yeah. We always had storytelling Kendrick. We all, we always had the man the look. club Kendrick. He still speaks. And it but, but it's looking it's looking like that's what's next. Oh my god. It's looking like that's what's next. But the the, the smart thing that he's doing is he he's he's leaning on the West. Yeah. He's leaning on the West to make that that happen and I think that's smart as shit. But again, the pressure is on Kendrick. Let's not forget that. Well, I'm going to ask you this question. Who has more pressure on their next album, Drake or Kendrick? Kendrick. Drake. Why you say Drake? I say Drake because right now, based on the music that we've been getting from him at this point, we've been getting more R&B, house Drake. We barely heard rap type of Drake yet. So, the next time we drop a rap album, there's going to be a bunch of eyes on it. Too. But I don't is think... Sneak this Kendrick or he's just going to ignore it? But I feel like he's had all of these eyes for the past 10 years. So there's nothing different for him. He can just keep doing what he's doing. And he, he, nine times out of 10, he's going to win. Will it be a win like it used to be? I don't think so. But he's done it already. What, Ken, what Kendrick has to do, in my opinion, Drake has already done it. Does he have a lot of classic albums? Not in my opinion. But you got a lot of Drake stands that will look at it like he's the fucking greatest already. The media, <laughs> bro, if you look at academics and Yachty, and we're going to get to Yachty in a minute. Academics and Yachty and just the, the media, um, what's the word the the media uh perception. perception perception is is like i've watched academics page and i'm literally watching him big up drake in every single way form or fashion it, it'll be shit that don't even got shit to do with drake and he'll be well they're playing drake in fucking arkansas he'll find ways to like downplay kendrick like it's lyrically, it's literally damn near monopoly when it comes to the media on that side, the younger fan base, the 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 streamers, the all of these individuals. But that's the messed part. Some of these media outlets are paid for, it, and you can tell who's who. Like Roy, Roy is unbiased. That's why I mess with. Yeah, I fuck with Roy. Paul's getting paid for. It. <laughs> well, no, I feel like okay, and that's gonna drive us into the the yachty shit. I honestly feel like the 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 malls and the I don't know if y'all watched the Joe, Joe Budden podcast, the issues, and people like that. I feel like they don't. The bias is to the extreme to where they're not even. They can't even fathom thinking of anybody beating Drake or making being better than Drake. Right. And that's not realistic, in my opinion. Yeah. I feel like it's fake. Because you in a, you're in a situation where you have no choice but to be unbiased. Right. And if you are biased, hey, I'm biased as shit. Just say it. Yeah. It's just with these young artists, they grew up listening to Drake, too. So for them to go against them in that manner, it's, it's going to be hard. That, that's understandable, but you got to understand history. Mm -hmm. 
If that's the case, don't even like. Let's just say what it is. Just say what it is. Let's not sit here and say, "Well, I'm not, I'm not dick riding. I'm not da da da." This is this is just what it is. He out rapped them. No, he didn't out rap them. He didn't. He lost. Yep. The same way he beat me, he can take the same ass whooping. Yep. But is he gonna accept the ass whooping? Because he said he moving like it never happened. Oh, he's supposed to. You supposed to feel other You supposed he, he's Drake. At the end of the day, he's Drake. Like there's no if ands or buts about it. Like niggas lose, but they don't change who you are. At the end of the day, other than Kendrick, I don't know too many niggas that can fuck with Drake. Besides, <laughs> fuck he be talking about. I don't know too many rappers that can really like. It, like we watched some of the best rappers go totally like Pusha T. I feel like he won that battle, yeah. but if you look at the general public, they'll say he lost. But it, it provided a big chink in the cracks, but it didn't break fully. Like but he's pause. He's that big of an artist. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he's that big of an artist. But you can be unbiased enough to sit here and say, like, bro, no, nigga, you're great. You know what I'm saying? But you lost. I feel like Pusha T beat him. But because you're so much of a bigger audience, I mean, you so much of a bigger audience and you have this big audience, you lost because, I mean, you won just off of... Perception? Not even perception, just like popularity. popularity. Like, yeah, and that's what hip-hop has become.